and welcome back here we have an inner tire rod tool that's made for the DIYer so it's gonna help you get this done plain and simple it's definitely not the professional grade tool so it is gonna take a little bit longer but it also does not carry the hefty price that professional tools carry and you could pretty much get it at any local auto parts store now I've always taken these inner tire rods off by using a ratchet and a cheater pipe on it but I want to try using my impact gun so I have a half inch to 3 8 adapter and I'm hoping that the impact gun will remove the tie rod if it doesn't at very least it will cause plenty of vibrations to help me break it off the normal way that I usually do. The problem with this car here is that the inner tie rods have red thread locker on them and I know this because I've already done the one on the other side. So as you can see the impact gun was not able to take it off the tool just slipped and I'm not blaming it completely on the tool or anything like that. Who knows maybe if these things did not have red thread locker on them maybe the impact gun would have worked. So the next time I have to do inner tire rods on a different vehicle I'm definitely going to give this a try with the impact gun. But for now I'm just going to reinstall the tool and I'm going to go at it my normal way with uh, plenty of extensions. My ratchet and a cheater pipe on the ratchet and that usually seems to uh, do the trick. If you plan on using this tool make sure you pick up plenty of 3 8 extensions. You just want enough to get past your fender so that you have enough space to put your ratchet and your cheater pipe on it and you don't damage anything when the inner tire rod finally breaks loose. So you can see the struggle I went through to get this side done but let me tell you one thing it was not as difficult as the other side so I'm gonna assume that the vibrations caused by the impact gun really did help me out on this side with the inner tie rod broken loose you should be able to remove the tool and you could spin the tie rod counterclockwise and remove it with your hand but in my case since we have red thread locker involved I'm gonna have to keep using the tool I still have the outer tie rod connected to the inner and usually I replace them as an assembly like that. The reason for that is now you have the exact length that they need to be so when you get your new inner and outer tie rod and you're trying to adjust it you already have the length that you can measure it up to the old one. So that's something to keep in mind and it's why I like taking them off as a set instead of breaking the outer tie rod loose from the inner tie rod. And that's pretty much it for how to use this tool and hopefully it helps you getting your own inner tire rods done yourself. Now don't forget to take your car in for a wheel alignment once you're done. But like always I hope you liked the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.